Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I'm playing some Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam, and we're going to be playing on Hill 137. Uh, but this video is going to be a little bit different than normal. I wanted to make a video that was a little bit more in-depth, and maybe this can turn into a series if you guys really enjoy it. But I wanted to be a little bit more tactical with my videos and kind of give some of the strategies and routes that I like to take for certain maps. And so I hope you guys enjoy, because uh, this video is going to be on Hill 137, like I said. And we're going to be on the first base. And uh, basically I'm going to deploy or use some some cool paint shop artwork to give you guys a good idea of some of the routes I'd like to take. And I think the picture is here in a second. Yes, here it is. Uh, so the first route I'd like to take is the yellow route, which is going towards the BM comp station. And basically what you're going to want to do is hug the left side of the zone wall and make your way all the way over to the BM comp station. And what, I, and what I really like about this route is the fact that because the zone wall is on your left and that the only way the enemy can shoot at you is either in front of you or to the right, it really reduces the amount or different ways that the enemy can shoot you from. And of course, uh, if you do this, you're probably going to extend your life expectancy and make your way to the MCOM station that much more enjoyable. So, like I said, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. You move your way on the left side, you kill anyone that's along the way, and then you plant the uh, the bomb. And what I like about this is because, well, first of all, it's really simple, and also, it's also pretty easy to defend once you actually get uh, the uh, the bomb planted, because all you really have to do is chill out on this hill, and or on the uh, house, and watch if anyone actually moves towards uh, the, uh, the the MCOM station, and if they do, you can drop down, get the surprise, and take them out really quickly, and then kind of rinse and repeat. And I find that this is one of the, the easier ways to go about it. Uh, and the next route I'd like to take, once I actually take the MCOM station, uh, you either have the option to move where the enemy, uh, towards the uh, spawn point of the enemy, which is illustrated in the picture before uh, by extending that yellow arrow forward, but I really don't like this route. You can kind of kill a bunch of their enemy, a bunch of the enemies at their spawn, which can make it easier for your team to get towards the AMCOM station. But usually what I like to do is take the blue route, uh, and which is going, the picture is going to show up here in a second, so don't worry. And is what basically where I'm at right now, and it's directly towards the AMCOM station. And really, I like this route because your, enemy, your allies are going to be spawning on the right and basically can back you up, and you can easily take it. So another route that is pretty nice. It's not one of my favorite and can get and can get pretty bogged down uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so this would probably be my, my second route, or maybe third route I would like to take. And basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to the, towards, the, or you're going to head towards the beach. Once you actually reach the beach, there's going to be a hill pretty much directly in front of you, and you're going to want to follow that hill all the way up towards the MCOM station. And the reason why you're going to want to stay on this hill is because it, it provides a pretty good environmental uh, cover. Uh, it doesn't even make sense. The environment pretty much just covers you and your allies with the rocks and the uh, uh, basically just the terrain and allows you to make your way to the MCOM station. Uh, the reason why I really don't like this route is because of the fact if you actually don't take the B MCOM station first, there's going to be a lot of enemies towards the left hand side and they're going to be basically bogging you down as, as well as the allies that are defending from the right side. So uh, this is. This tactic is usually better once you actually take the B, uh, the BM comp station, at least from my personal experience. And so uh, I would only recommend this, you know, if you've actually taken that first one. But if you haven't, this is still a good, a good strategy. But you're just going to want to make sure that you stay aggressive and that you try to do your best to get over the lip and to uh, to the uh, MCOM station. I've said that MCOM station like a thousand times. I apologize. Uh, but I would actually say that this strategy is a lot better if you have a team that's on the uh, the boats and just raining death upon the enemy's spawn point and or anyone that's actually trying to head and take out uh, the people that are on this little ridge here I find that if you do this it's going to really it really helps your team out and you really want to take advantage of those boats and all you really have to do if you're on the boats and there's going to be an example later in the video uh, is where all you have to basically do is have someone drive and then move back and forth along the coast, never really stopping because you don't want to get shot by an RPG, and then taking multiple multiple people out. Uh, so this about wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I this, this is kind of experimental. I only wanted to do the first base, and I didn't want to go super in-depth. 
on all the bases because I just wanted to get your guys' opinion. So if you guys really like this, make sure to leave a comment and also give this video a thumbs up. It really will be a good indication that you guys want to see uh, more of these type of videos. And if not, uh, let me know in the comment section below as well. Uh, also, if you guys any, have any ideas on certain maps or certain suggestions you'd like to see in future videos, definitely let me know as well. Uh, you know, this is, like I said, an experiment for me. And so if you think I can improve on anything, uh, just like I said, let me know in the comments. Uh, but other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, have a good one and take it easy. Hey, guys, we're on Facebook. Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.